so we are going actually back in time today. Not quite 53 years, but we're going back about 47 years when Unity Santa Fe was born. So anybody know when Unity Santa Fe was conceived? Yes, I knew you all knew the answer. <laughs> awesome. And then it was actually had a gestation period, like a pregnancy, right? And it took three years before it actually came into its now official form as Unity Santa Fe. So having said that, and knowing that you want to know more, <laughs> I am now at this moment going to call up our board of trustees to give you a short history on Unity Santa Fe. And Tom, would you bring your, uh, your yeah, microphone and your standing closest to the piano? So you have to you know, give some instructions to our wonderful board. So our board president is first, Tom McCrory. We have Jeannie Coffrin, who is our vice president. We have Jerry Bryan, who is our treasurer. We have Terry Caldwell, who is our secretary. Tashima, who is the sergeant at arms. Wow, what is, what is that? And we have Marietta Hubler, who is our, um, our, our member at large. Now we have two people, one of them couldn't be here today, Tammy Orr, and she is the assistant treasurer. And we do have someone else here, but she's in the cyber sanctuary, Christina Avadaka. So she is with us in that form, and she is also the assistant secretary. So Tom, take it away. Okay. Well, the green means it's on. So Unity Santa Fe was founded by Reverend Gene Beggs in 1974 as a study group and it was incorporated as a church on October 11th, 1977, becoming a member of the Association of Unity Churches International, which is now known as Unity Worldwide Ministries. And that took place in 1978. Reverend Gene was the minister for 10 years, and over the next 20 years, Unity Santa Fe was the Church on Wheels. You've heard of Meals on Wheels? Yeah, this was the Church on Wheels in numerous locations served by several ministers. During this time, attendance at our services waxed and waned between 25 and 70 people, and not surprisingly, when the church moved or a minister left, attendance dropped. But... There's more. All right. As a licensed Unity teacher, Brendalyn Batchelor was commissioned by the Board of Trustees as spiritual leader of Unity Santa Fe in December 1994. She was ordained in February 2000 upon completion of the Association of Unity Churches International Field Licensing Program. Six months after Brendalyn became minister, the church moved to the Santa Fe Women's Club where we remained for five years, the longest time we had ever spent in one location. When the Women's Club was put up for sale in 1997, we began a year-long church search to rent, purchase, or build a facility where we could settle. The La Cuchara Market at 1108 La Cuchara Road, now 1212 Unity Way, kept showing up as the most feasible option. Uh, after three rounds of deciding no, we received a most generous donation that made it possible to say yes to this Middle Eastern grocery store and delicatessen that was designed to look like a northern New Mexico church. In the foyer is a painting of the original building by renowned artist Jean-Claude Couget, who drew the sketch of the painting while sitting on a bale of hay in the parking lot during renovation. After a unanimous vote at our membership meeting, we began to ne negotiating the purchase of the building and with the awe-inspiring miracles continuing to unfold we closed escrow on our new home 
on October 30, 1998. Over the next nine months of labor, which we called sweat equity, we finished the renovation and transformation of the building and celebrated the birth of the Church of Our Dreams. The first service on Sunday, May 15, 1999, was an incredible, joyful occasion with a full house, seating capacity of 150. Construction of building addition, including the bell tower, the bookstore, classrooms, restrooms, and expanded minister's office was completed in June of 2002. We purchased an acre lot across the road from the church on March 3, 2003. We sold this lot to the Journey Montessori School on January 31, 2018. All who have served and attended over the years brought this church home into a physical reality because of first building the church of our dreams in consciousness, knowing that as we continued to build this consciousness, it would become real. Under the visionary leadership of Reverend Brendalyn Batchelor, Unity Santa Fe became a thriving spiritual community. Reverend Brendalyn retired in September 2021. Reverend Eliza Bloom Robinson served as the transitional minister from June 15, 2021 to December 15, 2021, working with the congregation, board, and search team in creating healthy closure with Reverend Brendalyn and focusing through conscious awareness what Unity Santa Fe was calling forth as the next right and perfect minister. Reverend Liz Ruoma came to Unity Santa Fe in October 2021 as a ministerial candidate and was offered the minister position. Reverend Liz moved to Santa Fe in November with her first official start day as minister on December 1st, 2021. Who we are today. Unity Santa Fe is a dynamic and inclusive spiritual community with an extremely positive approach to God in life, seeing ourselves as more spiritual than religious. We support people of all faiths to awaken personally and connect with a deep sense of meaning and purpose by applying positive spiritual principles in their daily lives. Embracing the belief that there is one God called by many different names and found through many different paths. Our congregation is a beautiful kaleidoscope of people from different religions and races, ethnic and socioeconomic backgrounds, ages and sexual orientations. We are committed to helping people profoundly transform our world as love in action, actively engaging in community action projects in our community. And most of all, we believe that no matter where a person is on their spiritual journey, Unity Santa Fe provides loving support and guidance to everyone who enters here. And so it, it is. Okay, Zeke's got me. Good job. So did anybody learn anything here? You know, you're sitting in a deli. <laughs> I used to work in a deli at age 18. I was a manager. How interesting is that? So there is another birth that took place, and that was in December of 2021 when I started here. But a person who was in our cyber sanctuary, uh, Christina Abadaka, said, we need a host team. And so she gave birth to our cyber sanctuary team, and she was the solo person for many months. And then she built a team, and other people, she trained them. So we're so thrilled to have a host of teams, a host of folks that are running that as well. And 
We do need a couple more people. So if you're in the cyber sanctuary and you would like to just hear more about it, get trained, or some of you might just want to say once in a while, I'll be happy to be home and do this. She's really easy to work with. She'll train you and get you set up so that we can have more people that are taking um, part of that. So let us give some love to Christina Apodaca, our Cyber Sanctuary team, and to our Board of Trustees. Woohoo! All right. Thank you so much, Board. You may now take your seats. Thank you so very much. All right. Now that you've had your history lesson. So who knows what today's talk, oh, wait, before we do that, I would like this to take a moment where we can just go within and let us silently thank all the individuals that have been a part of Unity Santa Fe in the past and up until now. So let us just take that moment to thank them silently in our hearts. so grateful for the blessing of all the beings that have come before, are here now, and will be with us in the days to come. So how many of you know what today's talk title is? Okay, one. Good. <laughs> what is today's talk title? If you know it, please. The Community Different. Well, did you know that we actually refer to ourselves as the community different? We do refer to ourselves in such a way. And even though we look like a church, we act like a church, we have Sunday services. I don't see us as a church. I see us as a community and calm unity. We believe it so much that when we had our t-shirts made this year, these beautiful t-shirts, it says Unity Santa Fe in rainbow colors. It says what on the back? A community different. Yes, we are a community different. Now, what does that mean? Well, that's the question of the day. What is the community different? Well, because you happen to be the community and you are different, we are going to take this opportunity to have you answer the question. And you're like, what? We're going to do something different. It is our birthday. And this is different because we're practicing what we are, which is different. So how we're going to do this, my friends, and you're all participating, especially if you've been a part, um, you're going to take an opportunity to line up starting here on this side and on this side. And one at a time, I will hand you this microphone and you will give an opportunity to speak about 30 seconds or less because we want to hear from as many people as possible. What, why is, why do we see what it makes this place different than a regular normal church thing? So we're going to start that way. And then in our cyber sanctuary, you are also included. So anything that you see, why do we refer to Unity Santa Fe as the community different? Write it in the chat. And Jessica Wilcox will come up and she will speak your answers. She will be your voice. So let us begin quickly. Come on up. You don't have to say a whole lot. In fact, I don't want you to say a lot, but starting on each side, you can just say what's different is and we're going to take it away so you're you're on is that get her no she's on she just I'm turn, on. turn I'm it on. up hello all right so as i look around i see that most people that i have met here are not from here so we've come here from all different walks of life all different places on the planet for some odd reason we've landed in santa fe and we've landed at Unity, and we are happy here. So we bring our differences, our backgrounds, our diversity, and uh, our talents, and our smiles, and our gifts, and we share them with each other in as different a way as possible. And since it's the community different, you can't be odd here, because 
everybody's odd here. <laughs> okay, very good. All right, go ahead, have a seat, and thank you for passing it on, and uh, you'll be. Hi, I'm Terry. Uh, the first thing that I felt when I came to Unity is just uh, acceptance, which is very important to me. I think it is for most people. And um, no judgment. So um, that's a beautiful, beautiful thing in today's world anywhere. And I really felt that here. And I'm ever so grateful. Uh, there's a lot of love in this community. Uh, a lot of different ways to express yourself and serve. Um, so I'm so very grateful for that. And it's just a beautiful, loving place to be. Thank you, Terry. I'm going to take it this oh, way. Yeah. So we're going to, you can also line up on this side. I can just switch it back and forth. So please don't be shy. I know you're not. I know you well, like to talk, all of you. <laughs> and thanks for keeping it short. Oh, Tom. When, when I was growing up, my parents took us to different churches. And something I became aware of was there'd be people who'd show up for the Sunday service, but the people actually doing the work to keep the church going was maybe 10% of the whole congregation. And when I got here, everybody pitches in with their own unique gifts and makes this the most wonderful place. Absolutely. Thank you, Tom. Marietta. Uh, hello, I'm Marietta Hübler, and um, when Amra and I moved here, uh, we went to many churches. We were never accepted anywhere like here. And how they here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Amrai. We love you, too. She's a great hugger, too. Okay, Clark. I started going to Unity in New York City in by the 1980s, and I've gone to Unity all over the country in so many places, and I've never felt more welcome than in this church, and I love it, and I love it every day. Yeah, thank you so much, Clark. Come on up, Bill. Why, why am I different? Is that <laughs> yes. the question? Yes, that's right, because you're, you're the community. I, why are you different? I, because I ride a bicycle. That's, that's why I'm different. <laughs> And I, and I also want to say I, I love everyone. And everyone is helping me love myself. Mm. So I want to thank you for that. Mm. Thank you, Bill. All right, Janine. Uh, I had never heard of unity, the unity movement or anything about unity. Uh, I was brought here from a friend, uh, by a friend visiting from Unity in Costa Rica. And I can't tell you what or where or how, but I knew I was home. Mm. And that was 20 years ago. Thank you, Janine. All right, Jessica, the voice. Okay, so of as others. promised, I'm bringing you the voice from our cyber sanctuary, the voices. And we have a lot of people responding in the cyber sanctuary, which is great. So uh, from Kathy, she says, We genuinely welcome everyone. Um, from Joanne Idiacon, oh, we are open, loving, authentic, and we practice what we preach. It is so refreshing. Um, let's see, Catherine Donovan says, we welcome the differences in each other with love. Mm -hmm. Pam Rogers, we have a different approach to Christianity by focusing on our mutual divinity as taught by Jesus, our way shower, whom we do not see as some sort of demigod. He knew his own divinity and taught us about it. All th these things and more shall you do. Uh, Wanda Brown says, accepting positive, focused on prosperity and peace. And Joanne, and there's hearts all over the place. And Joanne also says, we recognize the divine in everyone and ourselves. And then from me, I'll just say what's different here is that this is a place where we get to give of our talents, discover hidden talents we didn't know we had, all in a very loving and supportive community. Thank you very much, Jessica, and the voice of all of our cyber sanctuary folks. Thank you. Come on up, Kay. Um, this is a place where we know that there's only one the presence. There's only one presence and one power, God. 
and everything else is illusion. And that's such a powerful thing to truly understand, and that um, that as there is God, I am God, and you are God, and we are one in that holy presence. And that we understand the power of prayer, the power of thought, and the power of feeling to change our lives and the lives of those around us in the world. All right. Well, thank you, Kay. <laughs> So I'm sure that there are other voices that just haven't come up, and I'm going to share some of mine. So I'm just going to hand you this so you can put that down in there. So I have a few things to share from my perspective. What makes this community a community difference? Well, when I am asked about Unity Santa Fe, because usually I am out in the world and they see me and I'm like, well, I work and I'm the minister at Unity Santa Fe. One of the things I say is that there is a high level of emotional and spiritual intelligence in the people here. I don't know what it is that you're eating or drinking, or maybe it's because we're at the 7,000 feet level, but I've been in different communities and I have never experienced the high level of emotional and spiritual intelligence. I also see that there's no drama. People take responsibility for their lives. I see respect. I see ownership of their own things. And so that means a lot, to be honest. There's no blame, shame, or judgment. I heard that. You know, if we were, did call ourselves a religion, because we see ourselves as spiritual, I would say our religion is love and kindness. We are love and kindness. And that shows up because we call ourselves love in action. It's not a word. As Tom said, everybody seems to be involved. And if you haven't joined a team yet, please see me afterwards. We also have out on the, in the foyer some of the teams. We have 26 plus teams here. And there's people on each one of them. And some are on more than one. It is a place where you feel like you own and you're part of something bigger than ourselves. And that's important because to be in a place where you feel you belong and you get to participate with your special gifts. Again, the unity teaching, we don't believe in sin that we're born sinners. We're born divine. We teach differently. People come in and they're like, there's no sin. I said, no, sin means missing the mark. And we are missing the mark when we say that we're born sinners. That is not the truth. I think that the only sin is, is when you can't feel, you feel like you can't be your true self. I think that is where we miss the mark. We don't recognize that we are spirit, the divine, love in expression. Uh, we're here to lift shift and gift everyone into the highest vibration of who we are. We don't believe in polarities, not good and bad, evil, right and wrong. We take that horizontal line and we flip it. It's a vertical line. Everything is energy and it's vibrational. You have low vibrational energy and high vibrational energy. Our feelings, we have low vibrational feelings and that's letting us know something is off. And then what can we do? Maybe a spiritual practice to help us raise our vibration. It's not left and right. It's up and down and it's vibrational and it's a continuum, not opposites. It's a continuum. It's always moving up and down. And it's all spirit. Even the lowest vibration, a caterpillar, is the divine in expression. And no, it's crawling on the ground. But then you have the butterfly at the highest level. That's an example of an animal that is showing, but it's divine in any stage it is in. We also practice uh, affirmative prayer, which is completely different than what many have been taught, and that God is not something outside of us. It's inside me. I call my spirit, some of you may say, it's the higher power. Um, mine is God's self, because when I say the word God's self, I recognize that there is a part of me that is God's self, and it is my highest expression, and it is here for me, with me, and it is actually the life that is breathing me and breathing you. I don't know of any other place that teaches this. We accept, I've already heard, accept and love all people, you know, LBGTQ, we're in the pride. We love to have fun, right? 
I mean, we we were we made paper airplanes last year, and we because play is a spiritual practice, believe me. And we had we flew paper airplanes because that is an expression of pray play pray and play, right? It's about letting that little kid come back to life and to be that expression that we were born to be, but we got put all this stuff on us, which we're trying to release and come back to our true nature. And last but not least, how many um, churches or places do you know that everybody in the congregation at the end of the service says, yippee do and yippee done, right? You don't. This is the community different, and I want to welcome you to the community different because you, we, are the community different. We are the community different, and we are family. And so it is. Happy birthday, Unity Santa Fe. Thank you.